Come on, next. Oh, look at that juice. Oh, long necks, big jumps. Daddy Longneck rose to fame back in 2018 for literally just being an NPC and having a long neck before seemingly disappearing off the internet, but his story is actually pretty sad. Daddy Longneck, whose real name is David Samuelson Jr., gained popularity on the internet by posting videos of him rapping and literally just doing dumb stunts like cracking an egg on his head for no reason. From the beginning, people started making fun of his physical appearance, which actually somehow made him even more famous because he sort of created a friend group of people like him who were seen as outcasts and made videos like these. Oh, huh? Packing the mail, it's gone. Uh, she like I smell cologne. Yeah, I just signed a deal, I'm on. Young CEO, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The People wouldn't hold back in the comments with users commenting on that video quote Chernobyl survivors gather for radiation festival and another claiming that they had escaped area 51. But see his story actually goes way deeper when it was revealed that David had something called Marfan syndrome which often causes long skinny features. Throughout his childhood he claimed that he was always in and out of the hospital with him even having to be fed through a feeding tube at one point and often bullied. David even spoke on how much the hate used to get to him and he now believes he has a stronger mind which allows him to get past all the hate comments that he receives. He actually used to go by the name Dan damn long neck, but fans were quick to change this and give him the name Daddy Long Neck, which he just chose to stick with. In the collab of the century, Daddy Wide Neck would go on to team up with a man who was named Wide Neck to release the song Next Big Thing. Say, I'm the next big thing. Shut the up and Fans absolutely loved it, leaving comments like, quote, forever the best collaboration and that the planet is, quote, one big giant rotating meme. What's even crazier in David's story is that he would continue his content journey by releasing an OnlyFans, promoting it on his Instagram with a bunch of different girls, including people like, whoa, Vicky. And this is my new girlfriend. She's one of the baddest. Fans speculated that the two could have possibly been dating, but he didn't stop here as he would collab with many other large creators at the time, like when he pulled crazy stunts like these with Supreme Patty. Oh, Look at that juice. Oh long necks big jumps so how does all of this lead to his disappearance because his videos were popping and the stunts he was pulling weren't too controversial and actually pretty funny well daddy long neck became a daddy himself announcing his new child to the world through his instagram And although this may seem like a happy ending and a good reason to step away from the spotlight, it certainly wasn't, as just a couple months later, there were rumors that his baby was hospitalized. See, apparently the baby's mom got a new boyfriend who allegedly was the one to put the baby in the hospital. But if you look into it, things actually go even deeper, as before the baby was even born, Daddy Longneck took to Instagram to say, people might call me dumb or whatever you want to call me, but I gave her another chance to restart on life, and you should give second chances all the time. It seems like the baby's managed to recover, but people are torn saying that it's David's fault for not being there, but also blaming the mother for being a terrible parent. Since having a kid, Daddy Longneck's posts have become a lot less frequent, with his most recent being on Valentine's Day of this year. Daddy Longneck here, and I need me a Valentine. But if you think that Daddy Longneck is actually hilarious... <laughs> 